Hello, in this video we are going to take a look at this book. It is called Advanced Programming, Programming and Operating Systems by Harry Katzen Jr. This is part of the Computer Science series. Van Nostrand, they also have uh, published uh, several math books, so that's pretty cool. I'll just take a quick look here at this book. Advanced Programming. Van Nostrand Reinhold Company. Let's see what the copyright is. Oh, here we go. Here's the copyright. 1970 by Lytton Educational Publishing Inc. It's always fun because like sometimes like I've never heard of, of that particular publishing company, right? So you always wonder what happens to these places. To Margaret, Kathy, and Karen. Let's take a look here at the preface. This book presents an introduction to advanced concepts in programming. The reader is assumed to be familiar with the field of programming and to have had experience with at least one higher-level programming language. This is for Trenor Algol. He should have been exposed to an assembly language of some kind and possess a reasonable amount of mathematical maturity. However, a formal background in mathematics or science is certainly not required. This book is an outgrowth of a series of first-year graduate courses on the same subject given at Pratt Institute in Brooklyn, New York. Most of the students were employed in computer technology while taking this course. This has given the material an industrial flavor and has preserved the practicality of the topics covered. The book is intended to be used in the following situations. In advanced undergraduate courses in computer science for students who have completed a first course in basic programming. When used for this purpose, the course should include a practical programming project and the text should be supplemented by manuals for the particular computer used. Okay, cool. As an introduction to computer science at the graduate level, so you can use this as a graduate level book. Used in this way, the book provides a valuable introduction to the remainder of the graduate computer science curriculum. In this context, it is recommended that less emphasis be placed on a programming project and more on an in-depth paper investigating some topics of the field. This is super interesting. As a professional development text for programmers, analysts and managers employed in the field of computers and data processing. The objective here is to provide a background and frame of reference from which the current literature can be read and understood. Yes. Yes, sir, Harry Katzen Jr. No joke. Here we go. Here are the contents. Part one is programming systems. So it starts with um, an introduction and you have these subtopics here. Let's go slowly so you can read all of the topics. Basic compiler methods, list processing, let's turn the page, there's some more topics, computer languages, advanced compiler systems, decision logic tables, and then part two is operating systems, so we've got the structure of operating systems, time sharing systems, and we have some appendices, advanced Programming. Part one, programming systems. Let's see what this says here. The essence of computer programming is the encoding of algorithms for the subsequent execution on automatic computing machines. The notion of an algorithm is one of the basic ideas in mathematics and has been known and used since antiquity. An algorithm is the list of instructions specifying a sequence of operations, which will give the answer to any problem of a given type. Algorithms have several properties of interest. One, in general, the number of operations which must be performed in solving a particular problem is not known beforehand. It depends on the particular problem and is discovered only during the course of computation. Two, the procedure specified by an algorithm is a deterministic process which can be repeated successfully at any time and by any one. It must be given in the form of a finite list of instructions, given the exact operation to be performed at each stage of the calculations. And three, the instructions compromising an algorithm define calculations which may be carried out on any appropriate set of initial data in which, in each case, give the correct result. In other words, an algorithm tells you how to solve not just one particular problem, but a whole class of similar problems. Yes, absolutely. And you know, it goes on and on, it keeps talking more about that. Let's turn the page. Here it talks about programming languages. The assembler language is the most primitive type of programming language is known as assembler language. 
which provides commands or operations that are very similar to the machine language of the computer being programmed. Metaprograms, we have translators and interpreters. Let's look at metaprograms, see what this says. Any given algorithm may be programmed in a number of programming languages. In many cases, a specific language may be appropriate for the description of a given application, but inappropriate for execution on a computer or even for the optimization of subsequent execution time. The process of translating from one language form to another is of interest. Therefore, particularly when it involves translation programs from source language to machine language. Here it talks about translators and interpreters. Metaprogramming languages, operating systems. Let's look at this. An operating system is an integrated set of control programs and processing programs designed to maximize the overall operating effectiveness of a computer system. The first operating systems increase system performance by simplifying the operation side of the system. Current operating systems additionally attempt to maximize the use of hardware resources as well as provide a multitude of programmer services. Control programs, processing programs. Then here we have uh, assembler programs and symbol tables. This is the second part, second chapter. The assembly process, assembler instructions, assembler pass one, a sample program here. Example of a simple assembler program. Let me give you examples. Sorry, I gotta give it a whiff here. Just ah, uh, just one more, one more. Smells amazing. Smells amazing. List processing. Yeah, this is a, a hardcore book. Um, I, I don't know if this book is available. Like, I, I, I don't know um, how popular it is, how easy it is to get. Um, it's called Advanced Programming, Programming and Operating Systems. And what I'll try to do is I will look to see if there's any copies, and I'll uh, leave a link in the description. Uh, smells so good. Ah. If you found any value in this content, feel free to hit subscribe. Also, um, if you want to learn math, I, I don't have programming courses, uh, but I do have math courses. They're on Udemy, which is a legit place to have courses. But if you get them, please use the links from the description of this video or um, from my website, which is mathsorcerer.com. And I have courses on Calc 1, Calc 2, Calc 3, Differential Equations, Abstract Algebra, Advanced Calculus. Um, trig and a couple other things. So yeah, I hope it's been helpful. Take care.